It's the life of the modern day food and travel vlogger. Needy, networking, and nefarious. An unrelenting search for something new, requiring the finely honed skills of a private detective. The modern day food and travel investigator is a desperate type of individual. We do it for the exotic, the thrill of the kill. Something new. And today, beautiful people, we have found just that. So I'm at Harvey at Cape in Mount Apo Street in Davao and this is the much touted tablia uh, chicken adobo. So chicken adobo flakes with a little salsa over the top and then there's a, a fried egg. The uh, tablia has been mixed into the adobo flakes and more importantly into the rice. So you can see that the rice is brown a kind of brown. And the first thing I can taste is the saltiness of the adobo. Alright, I'm just getting adobo. It's a good one, but I'm not really getting any chocolate just at the moment. It's a hint of chocolate, really. They apparently, they used to make it with a lot more in it, but people were saying, ah, oh, perhaps that's a little bit much, so just tone it down a bit. So it's these tablea chocolate blocks that have been mixed through um, the rice and through the adobo after it was cooked. Oh, I can taste it, There's, but it's not overpowering. Which to be quite frank was what was concerning me a little bit. I wasn't sure how chicken adobo and chocolate were going to go together. <clears throat> but with this hint of chocolate coming through it, it's really quite interesting. Yeah, well the chocolate's not overpowering at all. It's not dominant. Just as an interesting side note here, this is the tablea, which is around 70 to 80 percent cacao or cacao. And it's unsweetened. <clears throat> and so this is what's been used in the adobo and the rice. So the flavor that it's going to add is a little bit bitter. It's not sweet. It's completely unsweetened. And that's sort of, I didn't know that when I first tried the this, this adobo, tablea adobo. And so I was thinking, well, I, I can't really taste the sweetness of the chocolate. I could taste the, the chocolate, but not all that much. And so it really is, I think it's even more interesting that it's unsweetened chocolate that's going in there because it's adding a chocolatey bitterness to it. Very interesting. Part of the sort of the theme of this cafe is that Habi means to weave and the cafe promotes and helps uh, local tribes to market uh, their weaving so that they can bring in extra income. Uh, and so the cafe is beautifully decorated in banana paper copies of the uh, fabrics that the, um, the local tribes weave. And this here is one of the tribal weaves. It's a meter. In fact, it's much more than a meter. This would be two meters. It's a beautiful cotton weave and it's a beautiful blue color. And 600 pesos. Yeah, 600 pesos. And you can buy them here. Use them as table runners, tablecloths, anything you like and the money goes straight to the tribes okay so marshall we have here uh, our special bilao merienda we call it our merienda this is the tray of sweets that i've been given to try they're all local mindanao style sweets this is called this one is particularly standing out to me it's called peachy peachy and it's cassava with some um, grated coconut on top I love cassava. <laughs> oh, yum. 
Now this one here is Suman. It normally, inside, it's got Ube. Uh, but this has the local um, tablia that Mindanao is famous for, which is chocolate. So it's stuffed with chocolate. These are such delicious desserts, but I'll tell you what, this cassava, oh, Maha Blanca. Well, what's the difference between the, the two though? You've got one that's darker than the other. A lot of coconut. Right. And then cheese. 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 And with whole corn kernels inside. A little bit like a cheesecake with corn. Well, we're going to have some of these puto because they look very nice. It's pandan, ube, and traditional, pretty much unflavored. It's it's a rice cake, but it's a rice flour. So it doesn't have the actual rice in it like something like this. The suma. It's light, kind of like a cupcake and pandan flavor. Just got a coffee, I've turned the music on. A whole lot of people have come into the cafe. I'll eat quite a few more of these before I leave. And so, Cheers. I've, I've come back to my hotel. I'm just, I'm just, my hotel's just behind me. But I'm still a little bit confused about the cacao, about the tablea. And um, I've met someone who can clear that up. She works here. The tablea center at Paso Lubong. And so Honey is going to clear this up for us. Why was the tablea bitter? Hello. Hi, uh, hello, honey. It's so nice to see you. So I'm just asking, honey, the tablea that I had was very bitter, and I'm just wondering why. Why? Yes, because this is the 100 year tablea. That's why it's bitter. That one's 100%. This is 100% tablea, pure tablea. Uh-huh. So 100% cacao. Yes, 100% cacao. Okay, and what about the one in your hand? Uh, this is the chocolate, dark chocolate. 80% dark 80%. chocolate. 80%? Yes. Uh -huh. They mix uh, sugar. The... To make it sweeter. Uh, less, make it sweeter. Yeah, okay. They, they add less sugar. They add, uh, yeah, okay, so 80%. What's yes. this one then? And this is the 75 percent. So that's 75 percent. So that's sweeter. Yes. Okay. And what's uh, the more sweetest? More sweeter is here 60 percent. 60 percent on yeah, that 60 one. 60 percent tablea. So that's the sweetest. Yes. Right. Okay. So if I want to make chomparado, right, which is a really famous uh, Filipino uh, dessert or merienda, which is rice and chocolate, how do I do it? Yes, it's very simple. We can put it in a tablea, pure tablea. Then how we can make uh, like a chocolate? You can add uh, sugar or you can put it in um, a milk. Ah, so to sweeten it, you put in sugar and milk. So the cacao in the tablea is 100% and so it's bitter. And so that clears that up. Thank you very much, honey. Yes, thank you very much, Sir Marshall.